Okay, I want to do this problem again, again finding the max mins within these uh, restricted domains. And here's that cubic equation that we're going to work with. And I'm going to do this using the max min program. So under programs, if you have this program max min, it's real handy. Hit enter. And this will find max mins for quadratic, cubic, and fourth power equations. So if you have anything other than that, uh, you, you would have to do it graphically. So let's go to choice two since this is a cubic. Now let's put in our A, which is 2.9.9444. Our B, which is 2,700.189. Our C, which is negative 11,016. Point three six one. Our D, which is ten thousand five hundred and eighty three point five. And don't subtract a million or anything. That was just for that one problem where we were looking for it, where it was a million. Hit enter, and it will tell you your local max min, which we got graphically, in fact. But this is awfully easy to do it this way. We have a min. This is a local maximum. It may not be the, the highest or lowest on the graph, but a, a peak in a valley. Here's a valley at an x value of 2.033, and the y value for that is negative 627. The maximum, let's go ahead and write this down. The maximum occurs at an x value of negative 613, and that y value, there's a peak there, and this is how high it is, 343 million, and we had this before when we did it graphically, 179,449 uh, approximately. And it might be rounded a little bit due to us rounding these numbers here. I didn't carry all the digits. Now the nice thing is, is this program then asks you if there's a domain given. And I'll say one, yes there is. And the lower bound, well let's do this problem first, zero. And the upper bound, ten. And we find out at zero, it's 10,583.5. And at the upper bound, 10, it's 173,383. So now to do this particular problem, what is the maximum on this domain from zero to 10? Well, I compare what it is at zero and what it is at 10, and also if there's any mac, local max in that area. And the local max was at negative 613, which does not fall within that domain. So the maximum is either at 0 or 10, and it's at 10 because the y value is larger. What's the minimum from 0 to 10? Well, at 0, it's 10,000 something. At 10, it's 173,000. The local min, though, was in between there at 2.033, which is in between 0 and 10. The y value was negative 627, which we wrote down earlier, and that is lower than both of these. So the min on this restricted domain is at the local min at x equals 2.033. The y value is negative 627. What about this domain? Well, all we have to do is hit enter and say, yes, we got another domain and put it in. The x is ne lower bound is negative 700 on this second one here. And the um, upper bound is 10. And if we're looking for maxes, let's write these down. When the x is negative 700, the y value is huge, 320 million and some odd sense there. And the or when it's 10, we already have that written down. Well, this is a lot, let's see, this is looking for maximum right here. This is a lot higher than that, okay? So negative 700 is a lot higher than what it was at 10, but the local max, which we wrote down earlier, at negative 613, which falls within this domain, it was at 343 million, which is higher than this. So the max within this domain is at the local max, which is at negative 613 for x, and the y value is 343 million approximately. The min within that domain, well, we know that there's a local min at uh, 2.033. It's negative 627, which is lower than both of these values. So again, that would be the local min. 
For both of these, the answer is your local max and your local min. Now, if you go out farther, we could do that last one then and say, yes, there's one more domain from negative 700 to uh, 100. And we already have the negative 700 written down. And the 100 is, um, is uh, here at uh, 2, let's see what we got here. That's hundreds, that's thousands, 28 million. So again, n neither one of these is lower than uh, this value uh, that we had for our local uh, min at 2.033, it was negative 627. So the min would still be at negative 2.033. And the max then on this would still be the local max. It didn't change anything. Probably if we would go out farther, let's change one of these a second. And let's say we want to find the min from negative 900. Let's do that one, negative 900 to 100. So if we do that, and we're interested in, let's say, the minimum. Now I'll say one more problem here. And we'll go from negative 900 to 100. And I get that at negative 900, it's still up in the thousands. So again, the min is still at the local min of that 2.033. I'm trying to get one where uh, it's not the local min. Let's do one last one. Let's try negative 1,000 to 100. And if we do that one, I think we'll find it, it's at one of the endpoints here. So the lower bound is negative 1,000, and the upper bound is 100, Oop. 100, and if we get these, here we go. This value is, oh, it's gigantic. What, it, what do we have here? Negative 233 million. Well, that's a lot lower than that local min that we had earlier when we, when we first started this problem. We wrote, wrote it down, hopefully, that the local min was at 2.033, negative 627. This is a lot lower than negative 627. So in this particular case, the min is at negative 1,000, and this is the y value. So that's how you do these. It's uh, either using a combination of the graph menu and the table menu, or using the max min program. And uh, that's all there is to that section. Pretty rough.